I will uh, talk to you about remote working and uh, near working. These uh, are issues that became very important and very relevant during the COVID-19 pandemic, in uh, which we are studying, we are exploring the rise of remote working. Remote working depends by the sectors and jobs, because not all uh, sectors of the economy allow people to work remotely. And this uh, remote working uh, has an impact impact on the city and indeed there are several studies, several research focusing on the live from the city and the attractiveness of suburban and peripheral areas. I will specifically uh, focus on the case on, uh, of Lombardy region. The issue of remote working is very much related to the issue of uh, urban and regional economics and economic geography, starting from the assumption that uh, space matters. Therefore, uh, thanks to information communication te technologies, people nowadays can work kind of from everywhere, specifically if they belong to uh, sectors, high uh, skilled, um, high value added sectors, if they are high skilled and knowledge workers. And if we remember in the early 80s, uh, but also uh, late 90s, we had um, researchers studying about the death of distance. Um, there were several researchers that were stating that the world is flat because information and communication technologies are changing the relationship between individual action and collective action regarding social, political and environmental issues. But uh, if we think about the fact that space matters as a urban and regional economics and economic geography state, the world is not flat. Indeed, later on, in uh, the beginning of 2000, other authors uh, underlined that the world is curved, like Philip McCann, Andres Rodriguez Pose. Why? Because uh, spatial transaction costs have not fallen over recent years, but they have changed. So people, especially knowledge workers and high skilled workers, need face-to-face -face contact. This means that, again, space matters and specific activities, high skilled activities, high value added activities, knowledge activities uh, happen uh, in the cities. When we have uh, urbanization and agglomeration economies where uh, there is knowledge spillover and when, uh, the, where there is a, a concentration of creative activities, of uh, high skill activities and knowledge activities. Indeed, in 2012, uh, Edward Glaser published the book The Triumph of the City. Nowadays we are during uh, we are leaving the COVID because pandemic didn't finish yet. We have lived in a period where uh, remote working uh, increased a lot, especially in uh, in all the countries. But some countries like Italy, for instance, could see a rise in growth of remote working in several sectors of the of the economy. Uh, if we uh, uh, focus, for instance, on the case of Italy and and on, on the case of Lombardy region, a recent paper has been written by myself with the other colleagues, we could see that the, the city of Milan has lost presence during the COVID-19 from a, a specifically central neighborhoods lost from 63% to 47% of people. So people that previously before the COVID-19 were commuting to Milan for work, study, leisure, whatever, and in, during the COVID-19 they left the city. Where have been these people stayed during the, uh, the pandemic? Some of them entered the city and stayed in the city during the day, and these were workers that had to go to work, so these uh, were workers that couldn't work remotely. But if we compare the data for the COVID-19 in April 2019 and, uh, for instance, April 2020 and October 2020, we really saw a decrease of presence in the city of Milan. Where uh, have been these people no, during the pandemic? We could see a high correlation between uh, in the municipalities uh, hosting a higher number of knowledge workers and these people that were previously commuting to Milan. 
So in this analysis of uh, this paper that is uh, about uh, remote working in the uh, Lombardy region, municipalities uh, have better broadband connections, are more suitable to host knowledge workers but also foreigners, and they provide uh, for a generally better living conditions. So we can see that uh, these are uh, what has happened during uh, the uh, COVID-19. So we had uh, during the COVID-19 a kind of uh, is called donut effect as the literature has uh, uh, underlined. A donut effect, so the, the kind of exit from the city, a, a renewed attractiveness, uh, let's say, of uh, uh, municipalities around the, the big city. What we would like to analyze further uh, is uh, to uh, test uh, the hypothesis that the film can stated. Less frequent commuting will allow for larger interland areas and this will tend to favor most prosperous cities like Milan in the case of Italy and uh, you will have, uh, we will have a sort of shadow effect on weaker cities cities that are more economically weaker will become more vulnerable. Why? Because if I have to uh, go to the city to work only twice a week or even less than twice a week, I can decide to move and accept a job offer in Milan, for instance, not living in Milan, that is quite expensive, but living outside Milan. This means that the medium-sized cities around Milan might, because of this, might lose high-skilled and knowledge workers. That's why Phil McCann speaks about a, of a shadow effect on weaker cities that became, will become more and more uh, weaker. So what we should do is uh, to study this phenomenon even in the next months, in the next years, and understand what has happened. For sure, Milan uh, didn't uh, lose uh, his uh, role. Uh, for sure, Milan is not empty anymore, but there has been also a substitution of people living, uh, living in the city. But what we can see in, a, in the city of Milan, for instance, is that for, um, the real estate prices didn't change and are not uh, changing. There is a room uh, for, uh, to study this uh, issue of the impact of remote working on the city and also about the new geography of work because what has happened during COVID-19 during this exogenous shock is that the companies, the labor went closer to the uh, workers. No? Before it was the other way around where the workers that had to go and live closer to their office, uh, company, establishment and so on. Knowledge, high skilled and knowledge workers, since they can work remotely, we should think about something like the near working uh, paradigm. So uh, companies should uh, offer them places where to work. These places can be satellite uh, offices of these companies, but can also be third spaces uh, like co-working spaces. About this, there are municipalities like the municipality of Milan that has promoted uh, near working, near working for their employees. And I just want to conclude that I think that uh, the remote working phenomenon that uh, uh, grew uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic is the positive, I think, but one of the positive effects of COVID-19 and I hope that it will not change also because working at home working at home is not the best uh, uh, is not so positive because of many it has many criticalities while working in a uh, third place like a work co-working space can uh, uh, increase the uh, let's say uh, uh, well-being and also uh, improve the work life balance of people